Hi, welcome to Actual Spinster. My name is Anna Marie, and today I'm gonna do a kind of like August TBR, but also, yeah, it's like very, it's more like all of the kind of potential possibilities because it's definitely gonna have loads and loads of books, and I definitely won't be able to read all of them. Um, but there are like two main things for August. Uh, the first that just happens throughout the whole month is uh, Women in Translation which is, you know, every August. And then also coming in in the like last third or so of the month is um, my Virago season reading, which I'll talk more about when I get to it. But yeah, I thought I would first of all start off by talking about like what I'm gonna try to read for my uh, Women in Translation stuff. I'm also part of the Women's World Cup readathon, Football World Cup which affects like what I have to read because uh, like it's connected with the team that you're first assigned and then depending on what happens to them um, who else you then take on. So the book for that that I need to get to you first um, is this A House in Norway by Vigdis Hjort uh, translated by Charlotte Barsland um, because I am now following Norway um, but yeah I think that they will potentially get knocked out by their next match um, so I think that's against Japan, um, so I have two potential Japanese um, books to get to. It doesn't, I don't have to read a whole book for this, which is kind of good because it, it can get kind of overwhelming <laughs> to like keep up, especially if all the teams that I uh, get get kicked out in their like first matches. But we'll see, we're, I guess we're now like out of the group stages. But yes, yeah, so I might pick up Child of Fortune, Hugo Tsushima, should this before a lot. I can't remember if I said this before, but like it's got really, really, really small text. So I might try to find like an audio copy of it or something. Oh, I actually have this collection of short stories called Terminal Boredom by Izumi Suzuki. Translated. Oh, this is translated by Geraldine Harcourt, sorry. Uh, this one is translated by a lot of people, presumably different stories, but um, Translated by Polly Barton, Sam Bett, David Boyd, Daniel Joseph, Aiko Mazubuchi, and Helen O'Horan. So I could just read one of these stories, which is sort of kind of what I'm leaning towards. Although Japan has been playing very well, so maybe, maybe. Yeah, I sort of also have another few that like might kind of fit, depending on like who then plays who. So I do have like a Spain one, which is The Communist Daughter by... Aroa Morena Duran, uh, translated by Katie Whitmore. I also have The End of Days by Jenny Erpenbeck, translated by Susan ben Benofsky, which is German. I think though this is probably on my like, will read whatever happens for August, because I've wanted to read it for ages and uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. And then ones that are kind of like, not really for the competition at all, because um, I don't think I'll my the team the path that I'm following will necessarily mean that I cross paths with them but also just that I, I just like want to read these um so I got The Princess de Clairs uh by Ma Madame de Lafayette translated by Nancy Mitford uh because I'm gonna try and read this with my mum I also have been really wanting to read a Natalia Ginsberg um book for a really long time and I think Family Lexicon is gonna be good slash like you know it seems like the kind of thing I like so um I have this and uh it's translated by Jenny McPhee I do also have this Clarice Lispector um book Near to the Wild Heart by translated by Alison Ontrakin which I think was her first novel and yeah it's just something I just I wanted to read like a, a non-short story version of a Clarice Lispector thing for a long time and it's time you know I'm gonna pick them up so yeah I thought I would maybe start with this because it was her first one. I also have this book, The Passion According to René Vivian by Maria Marseille Marcel and um, translated from Catalan by Kathleen McNani and Helena Helena Buffery, which looks really interesting and it looks actually kind of a bit like Insurrecto because it does seem to be one of those kind of like multi um, timeline storyline things where one of the storylines is about a 1980s Catalan documentary filmmaker and yeah René Vivian was like this poet um in like fin de siècle um France she, I think she was like British and but then she like moved there and wrote her poetry in French and things like that it looks kind of like something I would really enjoy so yeah I'm not sure if I will get to it this month because I also have 
a deadline and I this is like really very ambitious of a <laughs> TBR and stuff obviously also I'm just like not gonna read every book I've shown clearly but then I also have this translated book which is Deborah or Deborah by Esther Singer Kreitman translated by Maurice Calf in Yiddish I did actually start reading this um Mari read the first couple of chapters to me uh which was nice so I'd like to make some headway I don't think I want to like I don't need to like finish this but I would at least like to yeah make a little bit of headway those are all the like translated things it will be shorty September in September obviously so you know a lot of these are fairly short so I might just like read them for then or like just keep reading translated fiction because I also have a couple others I have these three this one is the island by Anna Maria Matute this one's 40 years lost by Rosa Maria Arkenbau and then this one is the inseparables by Simone de Beauvoir which I don't think I will get to this month but I would like to at some point then we have the Virago season reading so if you weren't here last year um basically Virago season happens during Virgo season um which is I think the 23rd of August to the 22nd of September and basically you just use the time to read books that were published by Virago so yeah you know it's a pun Virago season and like definitely if you're interested in joining in do you are invited so yeah these are some things that I might potentially get to for Virago season I think only one of them is different from what I maybe showed last year um but I did read I think three out of four on the like main books that I wanted to read of that um so there's Mural Sparks Lightering Within Ten, there's Black Narcissus by Ruma Godden, there's Shadow Dance by Angela Carter, there's this one is the new one um, My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier for Virago season last year I read Rebecca and I like loved it a lot so I sort of wanted to read another um, and then this book Crimson by Niviak Corneliuson translated from Greenlandic slash Danis by Anna Anna Halliger. So of those books, this one is a priority and also obviously it's a translated book. So it works kind of perfectly to read at the beginning of Virgo season <laughs> slash Virago season. So yeah, and yeah, I obviously would like to get to this, but I would say that like out of the rest oops, out of the rest of them, these two are maybe the most priority. I mean Shadow Dance is pretty short, so I might save it for September and obviously because Virago season goes until September, that works pretty well. And then Black Narcissus has just been on my TBR for a while and I think I can access a free audiobook copy. So it's kind of useful to have like at least one of these books on audio for me because I'm so fatigued, I can't always read physically. I mean, I often can't read physically. <laughs> so yeah, having audio options is a really good idea for me. We love library audiobook lending apps on this channel. Let me know if you'd be interested in like potentially buddy reading or like, if you want to participate in Virago season, not necessarily that you have any of these books to read, but if you have other Virago books on your shelf, obviously they have like a kind of mixture of like, because this is like a contemporary book that they published. Um, and then like, it's, I guess like the rest of these are like modern classics generally. I don't know when my cousin Rachel is from, but I think, you know, like this is from the 1930s. This is maybe from the 80s. This is probably from like the 60s. This one's from 1951. What did I say? Did I think this was the 1980s? This is from 1966. This is her first book, so obviously it wouldn't be from the 80s. But yeah, so they're all, I get, yeah, I guess they're all kind of like modern classics. So yeah, cool. Out of all of those like translated books, I, I guess if I wanted to kind of, you know, thin the choices down a bit more, I would say that this is included, but again, like I don't have to finish it. I would just like to make a bit of progress. Then obviously A House in Norway is another priority. The Princess de Claves is also another priority. And Family Lexicon by Natalia Ginsberg is another priority, I think. Yeah, and then I guess one of these Japan reads, probably. I mean, when I do it like that, it does get a little bit less intense. <laughs> And obviously also this is really a read for September and probably so is Black Narcissus. So yeah, seems kind of doable. I'll leave links to everything I mentioned in the description box below um, and I probably will make a shorty September TBR too as we get near the time uh, which maybe we'll just repeat like a bunch of the things I showed here but there are like prompts for that though so I could also you know I might also like go through and try and figure out what prompts I can cross off. Yeah. I think that's everything I wanted to say. I hope you're having a nice day when you see this and I will talk to you when I next talk to you. Bye.